When a particle interacts with a magnetic field, the particle experiences a force perpendicular to that field. It can enter the field at a different angle, but usually the force is perpendicular to that field. So if we draw a magnetic field here, and this magnetic field, indicated with a B, is going into the page. So the crosses act like the tail end of, a, of an arrow. If you imagine looking at this arrow from the back end, it gives you a, a cross looking. If you're looking from the front end, you see a dot. So here we've got arrows going into the page, so our field, B, is travelling into that now a particle that enters this field say from this direction and it moves into the field if it's a charged particle it will interact with the field because a moving charged particle has its own field if you think about a wire with electrons or um, conventional current moving in this direction that means and I know positives don't move but assuming it's conventional current where a plus would move so the plus as it moves up that's our direction of our conventional current our thumb and our field will be determined by our fingers wrapping around that so we get a field travelling around here okay so these charges as they're moving have their own magnetic field so that's what's interacting over here with our particle now that particle travels into the field if it is a positive particle a proton it will experience a force in one direction at 90 degrees to this field so we've got the field going in the particle will feel the force either up the page or down the page rarely it won't feel the, part, the force in the direction of the particle so here's the particle moving into the page if the particle moves upwards and then travels around in a circular path in that direction it would have had to have been a plus particle, a proton. If the particle travels downwards in this direction then it would have been an electron. Now how do we know that? Why do we, how do we know if it was a proton or an electron entering this field? Just remove this. Okay, so we use the right hand rule for this. The particle's motion is in the direction of the thumb. I'll just remove this previous drawing here. So the particle moves in the direction of the thumb. The velocity of the particle. The field is in the direction of the fingers. And the, vol the force that this particle feels, if it's a positive particle, then it acts like a current, a conventional current in a wire. So it will come out of the palm and at 90 degrees to the particle's motion. So that's the force. And remember, this is the formula, F equals QVB sine theta. 
the theta is the angle of the velocity of the particle to the, the field. So if the thumb moved over a bit, so here, that would be the angle. So just removing the So if this particle's moving in, we, our thumb will be this direction. Our fingers go down into the page. Okay. So velocity, field, into page, particle. If it's a positive particle, it will move in that direction. From the palm of the hand. Remember P, palm, positive. If it's a negative particle, it will move in this direction, out of the back of the hand, or negative. So we know electrons are negative, and protons are positive, and that's how we can tell which one we have. If I start a new page here, looking at and I have a field, this type of field, so with particles little in arrowhead in a field indicating the field's coming out towards the field. The direction of the particle, particle will be we don't know if it's it positive heads in the direction negative. of the palm positive. It's travelling it into this in field and it moves around in the this hand, direction as into in a this circular motion. Right that means the force has acted. Direction of the thumb this way field out to of the page. Page. So, so it's in the fingertips field. here. So that's our force. So back of the hand would be a negative, so a negative the velocity of the particle, so if we use the, the right top. hand rule again, I hope that clears it up, would be the thumb, the fields out of the page, so I'm just going to draw the tips of my fingers coming out towards us, and the particle has moved this way, this is a right hand rule, so the palm would be this way, that would be a positive particle, if it comes out of the back of the hand, it would be a negative particle. Remember, thumb is the direction of the particle. The fingers are the direction of the field coming out towards the page. Out of the page towards us. Now this particle moved downward. The force acted down to steer this particle down. Remember, the force always acts at 90 degrees to the, the motion of the particle. So now the particle has turned the force is acting at 90 degrees to the motion of the particle. When it's here, the force is acting at 90 degrees. When it's here, the force is acting at 90 degrees to this particle's motion. When it's going this part, the force is acting here. So you have to look, your thumb takes the direction of the particle. The force is 90 degrees to your palm or the back of your hand. Remember, it acted downward down so it's from the back of the hand so this particle has to be an electron a minus charged particle i hope that clears up that rule for using particles in fields you can use the right hand palm rule again as we saw in another case if we have a wire field and we have a wire in that field and the current's moving we think of the current as particles moving they would be positive particles moving if it's conventional current where a positive would go so you can imagine a single particle would move in this direction. We put our thumb in the direction of the current. Our field is into the page. Okay, so I just draw the fingers there. Actually, just fix that picture up a bit. So thumb. Fingers would be down into the page following the field. And this wire is positive, so out of the palm the force would act. 
So this wire would feel a force in that direction, 90 degrees to where the particles are moving, and we've got the field there. So that rule with the right hand palm rule can be used for wires, um, current carrying conductors, or it can be used for